In this video, I will explain you the A to Z of arbitration. I'll explain you the whole process which is involved in arbitration process right from invoking an arbitration to the end of it. But first, let's talk about what is arbitration. Indian courts are overburdened with the pending cases. We all know about that. So if there is any dispute and you go to court, it might take you years to resolve it. Businesses, especially their lawyers, know this. And that's why whenever any business agree to enter into an agreement, commercial agreement with the other party, they put an arbitration clause in the agreement because they know that if there is any dispute in the future, they wouldn't want to waste their resource, time and money on the court proceeding, which could take years and time is money. And that's why they put the arbitration clause. They agree that if there is any dispute in the future, they will not go to court. They will go for arbitration. They will appoint a private judge via V an arbitrator who upon hearing both the sides will pass an arbitral award which will be binding upon both the parties as if the court itself passed that award. So the first step here is to have an arbitration clause in the agreement or having an arbitration agreement all itself. I have made a detailed video on how to draft an arbitration agreement. You may watch that later. The second step here is not the mandatory one. I mean, I do that depending upon case to case basis, but it's optional. So say if there is some money which is involved in the dispute and I know that the moment I invoke the arbitration, the other party will run away with that money. My money will not be secured. So what I'll do is that I'll approach the civil court under section 9 of the arbitration act and seek court direction to secure that money. Not only you can secure the money. But you can also protect the goods, preserve property, could go against the appointment of receiver and so on and so forth. So now I have a favorable order under section 9. I'm assured that my money is safe, my money is secured and I can finally focus in arbitration. So here we will invoke the arbitration. The first thing that I'll do is that I will issue a notice. It will state what the dispute is. It will also state that the party agreed that in case of any dispute, the party will go for arbitration. And I may also attach the arbitration clause from the arbitration agreement to this notice. And as a matter of practice, I will also nominate my arbitrator. I will nominate my arbitrator only if the arbitration clause does not specify who the arbitrator will be, if it is the institution based arbitration or is it ad hoc one. So in case it's not specific, it does not specify who the arbitrator will be. Then only this example will work where I will nominate my arbitrator. Now moving forward, once the opposite side receive my notice in majority case or in substantial number of cases, the opposing party might not agree with my nomination for arbitrator. So here we have a disagreement. So now in the lieu of this disagreement, the party will approach the high court under section 11 of the arbitration act. And here the high court will appoint an impartial arbitrator to resolve this dispute. Now we got our arbitrator. We move forward for the resolution of dispute. In most cases, the complainant is called as claimant and uh, the claimant put forth his averments documents, annexures, etc. And the whole documentation is called as the statement of claim. In same manner, the other side is called as respondent. And what respondents submit in the similar fashion is what we call it as statement of defense. After filing of a statement of defense, the claimant have an option to either respond to it or not to. In case the claimant decide to respond to it, the claimant files something which we called as rejoinder. After the written statement is filed, the party deployed their witnesses. Say I could submit myself to get myself cross-examined. And similarly, I could go and cross-examine the other side in order to strengthen my case. Now we have written documents submitted to the arbitrator. I cross-examined the other side. I deployed my witnesses. I have strengthened my case. And in the same manner, the opposite side has did the same thing. After everything is done, the arbitrator proceed and pass something which we call it as the arbitral award, which again is uh, binding upon both the sides as if the court itself has passed an order. Now, if this arbitral award is against you and it's not in your favor, what you could do is that you could approach the district court in case of domestic arbitration or high court in case of international arbitration to set aside the state arbitral award under section 34 of the arbitration act. 
So right here was the A to Z of the arbitration process right from invoking it to the end of it. Now if you want me to make a very detailed video on some certain aspect of arbitration, do let me know in the comment or else just subscribe and hit the like button in this video. It will give me motivation to make more such videos. Thank you so much.